Our vestibular sense is the sense of movement. It lets us know if we're moving, how fast we're moving, and in which direction we're headed. This system is the most influential of all the senses as it affects almost everything we do. Balance, coordination, fine motor skills, and even self-regulation all rely on the vestibular system. Children with a developed vestibular system move with control and confidence. They can run, jump, climb and bounce because their brain knows exactly where the body is in relation to other objects. However, children with a vestibular dysfunction don't move as confidently. Their body doesn't know its exact location in space. There are two types of vestibular dysfunction, hypersensitivity and undersensitive. Children who are hypersensitive to vestibular input cannot handle movement. They are often scared of playground equipment, dislike being turned upside down, appear clumsy and uncoordinated, and often move slowly and cautiously. Muscle tone is often low and postural control poor. Children who are undersensitive are the exact opposite. They can tolerate a lot of movement before their brain registers that the body is moving. These children often fidget, display impulsive behavior, need to be in constant motion, run everywhere, prefer to be upside down, and never appear to become dizzy despite spinning or twirling. Depending on their intensity, vestibular activities can be stimulating or calming. The following activities are some fun ideas to assist children in developing a healthy vestibular system. Jumping, swinging, Sliding, climbing, moving over unstable surfaces, hanging upside down and head stand, rolling and rocking, throwing and catching, obstacle courses, Aeroplane rides, riding a bicycle, or riding a scooter, being pulled on a blanket, or enjoying a piggyback ride. Other ideas could include yoga, bouncing on a ball, wheelbarrow walks, animal walks, star jumps, balancing on a balance beam, curb or low wall, skipping, crawling, dancing, or riding on a roundabout. Please note that these activities are not intended to serve as therapy and that if you feel that your child has sensory processing disorder or a vestibular processing disorder, it is important that you talk with your child's pediatrician or consult an occupational therapist specialising in the field of sensory integration. <laughs>